I already covered how AR simulation works on Unity Foundation 5.0, but I'm also want to show you how the AR debug menu works, what kind of features are currently available, what can you do with it. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I start working on it. Right click in the hierarchy here and then go into XR. And then once you do that, you're gonna see that we have this AR debug menu. And if we go in here, you're gonna see that we have, basically it's just gonna be a canvas, right? And it has some really cool functionality that it's what I wanna show you. So if we go back into the XR origin, let's say that we remove this completely and there's really nothing in here. I'm also going to get rid of, let's go ahead and re get rid of the canvas here. So we're just gonna have basically nothing here. All I'm gonna be adding in here, it's going to be an XR origin. And because we're gonna be supporting mobile AR, I'm gonna be selecting this one right here. And then if you look at these, there's really nothing in here that it's going to, that we have as a functionality, but we have an environment in here that we can play with. In fact, we can go ahead and change this and do, let's try maybe something like, maybe some something like this with the computer, right? So what I wanna show you is what features this is going to provide you out of the box. So we have, or a mock environment in here. You can see that we also have our debug menu, which is the one that we just added. And then if I get down and close it, and let's say that I wanted to do plane detection. Well, in this case, I don't have the AR plane manager. I don't have the point cloud. I haven't added any of those components, but I have this menu here, which is the debug menu. And if I go into the info here, you're gonna see how this is gonna show us the frames per second. It's really hard to see, to be honest, but basically it's giving you kind of like the average of frames per second and because we're not running on the device the tracking quality here it's showing us don't care and, and that's pretty funny i think that's what unity ended up doing for the tracking mode when it doesn't know if we're doing rotation or position and rotation but anyways in the device it'll show you the real deal and then if we go back into a configuration we're not running on the actual device so the xr uh, decryptor it doesn't know you know what kind of configurations we have such as light estimation, plane detection, depth, and occlusion, and so on. These are gonna be features that are going to be showing under this area. And then if I go into the debug options, the only thing in here, if I move around, you're gonna see that the menu moves with me. And if you look at the, the session origin, it's gonna be basically the origin of the session. And this is really helpful for things like, you know, to detect where we're initializing the session. If we had a multiplayer game and we wanted to have players relative to the origin of you know of the session then you can do you can use that information and then for planes we would use this but we don't have plane uh, the plane manager enabled just yet but we're going to be adding it and then anchors and point clouds is also disabled because we haven't really added it so let's go ahead and add those two so that you can see how this is going to work so if we go into the xr origin and we go ahead and add the ar we can say we can add the AR point cloud manager. And normally in the past, we had to add the visualization for each one of these components. If we wanted to see the point cloud and we wanted to see particles, you could add the visualization for that component. But with this component, we're gonna be able to, to see that without having to add all that. So we can do also the AR plane manager and we can also add the AR anchor manager, which we're gonna be able just to test on the device but I'm going to show you in here that it's going to allow you to see those options. So if I were to hit play, you're going to see now that we have more options available in our debug menu. Let's wait until this loads. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here by hitting Q. So we get closer to the floor. And there's actually, the planes are getting captured. We just can't see them just yet. In fact, if I go here to trackable, you're gonna see that we have a point cloud. We have another one in here and then multiple planes. So the cool thing with this menu though, is you can now hit settings in here. And if I wanted to see, let's say I wanted to see planes, right? Now we have a visualization of the planes that are getting generated. In fact, if I move around and we can go up in here, you're gonna see that if I wanted to toggle it, I don't wanna, I wanna see those planes, then it doesn't show me the planes. But if I wanted to see them, you can basically look at those. And I can also do the same thing with point clouds. I'm gonna go ahead and disable that because I just want you to focus on the point clouds. You can see the little dots in here. And those are the point clouds that are getting generated by using the debug options. All right, let's go ahead and connect to my device here. Let's go ahead and run the, this application. And then on my device, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I already deployed to the device. And we're gonna be able to see what we have right now. If we were to run this on augmented reality, just looking around, 
And there's really nothing that it's displaying because I don't have any visualizations on my device. But if I wanted to go here and look at info, you can see that this is running at 59, 60 frames per second. And you can see that now we don't see the don't care, we see the actual tracking quality, which is position rotation. You can also go into and look at all the different configurations that I currently have. So if this device was an iOS device, you might get different options because not all devices support all different features, but this shows you, you know, out of focus, environment depth, it shows you face tracking, image tracking. And then in this case, it just shows you different options and features that are supported on this device. And then we can go into settings in here. And let's say that I wanted to look at the session origin and we have the session origin right here, right above my head or right in front of my forehead right now. And then let's see if we got any planes and so we can see planes getting generated. And then if we wanted to look at the actual point clouds, if I go around here, and I have the magic leap one in there. You can see how it's creating those point clouds, which we can also use for placing different objects in augmented reality. And I can also look at anchors, right? So here's the anchors. And this is cool because the only thing that I had to add was the debug menu. And then now we can use the planes to ba basically be able to place some of these anchors. Any questions about these, let me know in the comments. I'm going to be making more videos about AR Foundation 5.0 in the upcoming weeks. So if you got any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.